Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have news, quite a bit of it today, so let's get straight to it. The very first thing I want to show you guys is actually by a very talented Chinese artist named MK, and this is a 120th scale concavenator resin kit. It has seven parts, and the entire length after it is assembled is 33 centimeters. It is also packaged quite nicely, quite safely in foam packaging, and the limited edition number is 50. So there are only 50, and I do believe quite a bit of them are sold, so there are very few left at this point, which means that if you are interested in this concavenator, I would get on trying to place an order for one right away. The kit is $105, of course, this excludes freight and is an unfinished kit you would have to finish this yourself but that's half the fun of resin models in my opinion personally i think it looks absolutely fantastic i can always appreciate a good concavenator kit and this one is really really well done i love the usage of the quills and everything on the arms and just the sculpt in general in my opinion is fantastic the base as well is very high quality and quite beautifully sculpted with lots of detail crammed into a very nicely sized base. So again, absolutely beautiful work here on this concavenator kit. There are so many talented paleo artists out there currently that it is absolutely mind boggling. And this is yet another example of just that. So if you are interested in picking up this concavenator kit from MK, I will include a link in the description to contact Dinosaur Darkroom on Facebook where you can in fact order this or again contact me and I will help you acquire this kit by contacting Dinosaur Darkroom for you. Regardless, it is beautiful without question. The next thing that I want to show you is yet another resin kit and this one is actually a 120th scale Rajasaurus and it is by Jagsaurus is the creator of this kit. The length is 45 centimeters. The height is 15 centimeters, including the base, and it is actually up for pre-order currently. The model kit itself, not including the pterosaur, is 120 US dollars, and for the finished kit, fully painted, including the pterosaur, it is 200 US dollars. Shipping, of course, once again, is not included, and if you are interested in this, I will include a link in the description to where you can contact Jagsaurus on Facebook or again just like with the MK model you can contact me and I will then contact them for you regardless it is yet another beautiful kit another wonderful resin kit I really think that even the finished product itself is beautifully painted but the sculpt overall of this is fantastic very cool very dynamic pose with it running along it appears to be absolutely jam-packed with detail which is exactly what I've come to expect from every Jagsaurus model I've seen in the past and the pterosaur itself is also really beautiful I think the finished product is probably the way to go on this one because overall the paint on both this and the pterosaur are great. I really really do love both versions, both animals included and the overall diorama looks incredibly awesome including the pterosaur so I really feel like the finished kit is probably the way to go but if you are looking for a model kit to build and paint yourself this is definitely a good choice as well personally though I'm just a little biased towards the finished product because it is ridiculously ridiculously nice but again if you are interested in this make sure you contact either me or follow the link in the description to the Jagsaurus Facebook page where you can then contact them and inquire further about purchasing this kit. And in one of the most exciting announcements that I've heard in a very long time, a company in the United Kingdom called MV Studios are actually going to be producing Dino Riders statues. The statues will have three different lines. They will have a one-tenth scale statue line of the riders and dinosaurs. They will also have a one-sixth scale statue line of just characters and a one-tenth scale diorama statue line there are no images yet of any of their work as far as these Dino Riders figures go, but they will soon be releasing images of their first statue, which is a one-tenth Serena and Pteranodon in the coming months, so we will definitely be looking forward to that, and I will be sure to include those images in an upcoming news video when they do become available, but one of the most exciting aspects, at least for me, when it comes to this line, I think, is the fact that 
there's a little tidbit of news that was announced in there and it states as well as collectible statues we are also in early talks with creative beast studio to partner up on a brand new toy line and will release information on this in due time so if you are going to be choosing a company to go with to make a toy line especially when it comes to dino riders you couldn't possibly pick a better company than creative beast studio so that is one little tidbit of news that has me beyond excited and i am insanely insanely interested to see where this goes and find out any information at all as it does become available trust me i will definitely keep you guys in the loop as the information does tend to trickle out but as of right now that's all we know no images like i said released no further information other than basically what i've told you guys but at the same time i am still incredibly excited and just absolutely aching to find out more about this and speaking of things that i am extremely excited about how about the return of PNSO as they have been gone for quite a little while they had a lengthy disappearance but they are officially making a comeback once again and they have officially put up a pre-order for a new item however it's not the type of item that most of us are used to because a lot of us around these parts are normally used to these smaller PNSO figures the PVC version or the vinyl versions this is actually a sculpture and it is a limited edition collectible sculpture called the prey and interestingly enough i recently reviewed the safari ltd chenzosaurus and stated in that review that there were so few figures and everything out there well pnso is actually releasing one here in this diorama which is really awesome in my opinion because again the species has just really gotten so little recognition overall especially when it comes to statues and figures and personally i am absolutely in love with this i would love to get a hold of this and add it to my collection review it for you guys it is in one tenth scale and again limited edition it doesn't state how many there are but it is definitely a limited edition and it says each piece will be uniquely numbered and the estimated time of arrival will be June or July of 2020. So again, confirmation that more PNSO is coming. However, this statue itself is something that is probably a little bit out of my price range as the price is actually 1699 US dollars. I'm not entirely sure if that is including shipping or not as it's not stated on the PNSO website but it does state that the statue will weigh 11 pounds and it is 24.8 inches by 9.4 inches by 15.7 inches so it is definitely a very large statue and I could only imagine with PNSO behind it it will be absolutely breathtaking I will include a link yet again for anybody that is in fact interested in this in the description for you to head over to the PNSO website where you can pre-order this right away because again being limited edition it's something that would be really awesome to have in your collection but overall I think it is just beyond beyond breathtaking and the type of thing that I think anybody would be proud to have in their collection as far as memory museum goes i recently told you guys about two upcoming statues coming from them one of which is the chinese paddlefish which you can see in these images well memory museum has recently revealed a few more images to me of these upcoming statues and again just confirming how beautiful they are i absolutely cannot wait to see some underwater marine animals released by memory museum specifically two different types of fish and you can see the size of the upcoming paddlefish right here from memory museum showing you a good idea of how big these will be and again showing you the 3d renders and how beautiful overall these statues are definitely going to be i'm really psyched about this and the other one was the sea locanth we now have a few images of different angles to really give you a good idea of just how majestic and beautiful this is overall I think these upcoming memory museum statues these two different fish are one of my most anticipated releases I think overall from any company currently just because I am so psyched to see how memory museum goes about these fish and the overall underwater scene because this is something they haven't tackled previously so I did want to show you guys the images of these give you an idea of what the size is and the overall beauty of both and get you guys a little bit more excited about the upcoming statues being released from memory museum I also have another very cool resin model to show you guys it looks incredibly awesome as well 
and it is actually a wonderful looking Tyrannosaurus Rex as you can see right here. It is available for 85 US dollars plus shipping. It is 25 centimeters or in other words 10 inches long and as the listing for it states it is perfect for wall decoration and comes in a pure white color it will need some paint added to it by you I really think it's beautiful for sure another wonderful resin model out there for all of us to enjoy and have the extremely fun task of painting it up in our own vision I absolutely love resin models but I really think that this thing is definitely beautifully done really beautiful looking overall as far as the sculpt goes so I will include a link in the description to where you can pick this up from Palaxic Larion, and I do apologize to him if I butchered his name, but regardless, again, check the description. I will include a link to his Facebook page where you can contact him there to inquire further about ordering this beautiful Tyrannosaurus resin model, or you can contact me and I can contact him for you to help you place an order if you do not have social media. I also wanted to show you guys some current work from Candid Sculpts as it's been a little while since I showed off some of their work. First is a look at some of the detailing of their upcoming Edmontania and I think it honestly is beautiful. Look at that fantastic scaling. As per usual when it comes to Candid Sculpts, another high quality sculpt coming from their department they never cease to amaze me as far as the overall detailing even the head sculpt is just breathtaking on this it is pretty much the highest of quality when you look for a resin kit and that's exactly what you continuously find from candid sculpts for sure but in a model that i'm even more excited about you get a sneak peek of the current work of the albertosaurus that they are working on and wow look at the scaling and the overall detailing of the face this Albertosaurus is so breathtaking and I'm really partial to Albertosaurus because it's a species of Tyrannosaur that for the most part you really see get skipped over because honestly how many Albertosaurus figures or even statues do you know of out there there's just not near as many as there should be and you can see here a little sneak peek as to the work that has been done on the overall body of the Albertosaurus it's definitely going to be another beautiful model from Candid Sculpts and of a very underappreciated Tyrannosaur you can also see the work here on the foot sculpt as it is being sculpted out. Wonderful, wonderful work continuously from Candid Sculpts. I really highly recommend checking them out on Facebook and also purchasing some of the mini kits that they do currently have for sale because they really do produce some beautiful, beautiful resin models. So definitely check the description. I will include a link to their Facebook page where you can contact them and inquire about one of their many kits or specifically the two that I just promoted today. And then finally, as far as Mattel goes, and this information has been taken from Collect Jurassic, so thanks to them for this information. But we now have two new Snap Squad figures, one of which is a repainted Dilophosaurus in a brownish type of a coloration. And the other is actually the Baryonyx, which I think a lot of people were waiting for. It's kind of been a while since we got any real news on the Snap Squad figures. And these things are so elusive, so hard to find. So it's going to be kind of a task just sort of locating these. But I would really love to get a hold of that Baryonyx at some point. However, I am still on the lookout for the Spinosaurus and Mosasaurus as well. But regardless, seeing a Baryonyx introduced to the Snap Squad line is extremely exciting. These were actually found in Malaysia, so... Again, a lot of the Snap Squad figures are being found in other countries other than the United States, which is making it pretty much a task for us here in the U.S. to locate these, aside from the brief run they had at Walmart and a few other stores that unfortunately for me are not in my area whatsoever. Regardless, it is still exciting to see more Snap Squad figures appearing, even if we are very, very far behind as far as which waves we've received here in the U.S. And the final thing is I want to show you guys the battle damage Albertosaurus, which has been spotted in Brazil. So now it is officially out in stores, but again, us here in the United States have to sit and wonder when we will actually get a shot at this along with many of the Jurassic World figures that seem to be coming out like the newer battle damage figures which luckily for me I have secured those for myself but as far as the rest of the United States goes unless you're currently ordering them from somewhere in the UK they're kind of impossible to find right now we don't know when or if these battle damage figures will be hitting United States stores I would imagine they should at some point soon but with Walmart 
kind of downgrading a lot of the Jurassic World sections around the United States. It's making it much harder to find these figures, especially the battle damage ones. So hopefully they'll start showing up maybe on Walmart.com or on some other online retailer like Amazon or even Entertainment Earth if we absolutely have to. Regardless, I do hope we all here have a chance to get a hold of it because I think this Albertosaurus is fantastic. A lot of people don't seem to like the coloration of it, but personally, I really am a big fan and I actually think I might like it a little better than the initial version. So, I did want to show you guys that this is officially showing up in Brazil, but here in the United States, I guess we're just going to have to continue to wait for our shot at these battle damage figures. So as of right now guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way, but until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.